Hey guys, Thunder E here and welcome to another Flashpoint review of the iPhone 8 Plus in 45 days. Yes, I've had the iPhone 8 Plus for that period of time. I know 45 days has actually passed between the iPhone 8 Plus launch and the iPhone 10. And you're wondering, okay, how does the device stand now, especially with the iPhone 10 available on the market? Now, in terms of just performance, it performs like you know, it did initially. Its performance was really solid. Uh, the battery life, I will say, and I'll put it this way, it's actually slightly better than the iPhone uh, 10. So that's actually a good plus for this device. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, should I get the iPhone 10? Should I get the iPhone 8 Plus? What's the difference? Am I sure? This video, will, I guess, will give you a better perspective of that, especially using it over that period of time. Now, the one thing I will mention is that I did have to, of course, do my updates on iOS 11, and there were some issues I had initially, which has taken, uh, been taken um, care of with the update. So in terms of software, that part is good. Now, I'm not a big iOS user, so I don't like a lot of things software-wise, but that's almost a design feature. So we'll set that aside for a second. Uh, let's talk about some of the things that I think a lot of people will find useful with the iPhone 8 Plus. One thing is that it's familiar. It's a very familiar device. Design-wise, it looks like an iPhone. It looks like very traditional. It's still well-built. Apple still does a really good job in building the device. You've got new features in there, like of course the lifestyle features, wireless charging, fast charging, water resistance, that kind of stuff, which is cool. But you've also got uh, old features that are very traditional and also things that a lot of people might like. For one, you've got Touch ID, which means you don't have to lift a phone up to your face. You don't have to look down. You can pick it up without looking and touch that button, your device unlocks, which is really, really nice for a lot of people. Also, no need to play around and learn new gestures because, you know, things like, for instance, your notification center, you can swipe from the top. You don't have to swipe from the top left. Uh, yeah, I can just swipe from the top down and you get your notifications. Your action center also pretty easy to access. No need to go to the top right, but to swipe from the bottom, which is everyone is quite used to. Uh, multitasking is the same way. Double tap the uh, home button and that brings up the multitask menu. And you don't have to long press again. You can just swipe up to close an application. And then of course, powering off your device, something that we've had to relearn on the iPhone 10, where you had to use the power button and the volume button. You just have to hold down the power button like any other smartphone and turn it off. So that's what the iPhone 8 Plus brings, a lot of familiarity, but also in terms of specs, it matches the iPhone 10. So when you look at it side by side, the internal specs actually has an A11 processor, the same amount of RAM. Um, it's got a, you know, um, you've got, of course, the same storage configurations that you, you have in both devices. So performance-wise, you're getting the same amount of performance. You can, you can actually use things like AR, which, of course, uh, Apple has talked about on the iPhone 8 Plus and handles well. Um, gaming handles well on this thing. And, you know, that's the thing about this device that, of course, um, you know, kind of sets it in a very different category from the iPhone 10. The iPhone 10 and the 8 Plus are very similar in a lot of respects and also different. And because of that, that price gap makes a lot of sense. And I would tell a lot of people, if you really don't want to pay a thousand bucks for a smartphone, or if you really don't want to fuss around with features and gestures that might seem really strange and not necessary for you, then the iPhone 8 Plus is a much better buy. And I think going using it for the last 45 days makes a lot of sense for a group of people. And I can see people buying a device like that. Uh, the camera is really solid. The rear camera takes a lot of great pictures. The front-facing camera takes some really nice pictures too. Doesn't just, just do it, it just doesn't do it in portrait mode. But you can see the performance is very similar with the iPhone 10. Uh, so I will say, look, after 45 days, the iPhone 8 Plus has given me a very similar experience to the iPhone 10. Less, of course, the face ID aspect of things. But this is a device that if you're looking to pick up an iPhone, don't want to go to the 10, don't want to spend that kind of money, don't want to fuss around, the A plus is the device for you. So hopefully you guys, this actually helped you out here. And uh, if you're looking for our wallpapers, as you've seen, uh, we can, you can find them on our Pinterest page. Just go ahead and use our Pinterest link down below. Follow us there. We always upload a lot of wallpapers, uh, so you can actually go ahead and download those. But thank you very much for watching this video. Any questions or any comments, let me know. I'll try and answer them for you. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to the channel. And once you do, hit the notification icon on the top right-hand corner to get notified with our latest videos. This is Thunder E saying thank you very much and always enjoy your entertainment.